<sighs> I'm just getting up and it's time to get ready for the day. Y'all can hear baby girl in the background, so sorry about that. That's why I've been doing so many voiceovers lately versus just talking to y'all straight because let's be real, my house is noisy. But y'all, what do y'all think about the curls? I'm playing with these curls because my curls are peeking out after about two years of hiding. And I'm not kidding, it's really been about two years that I have not had the curls out and popping. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to rehydrate them and get them back moisture trained and popping. As y'all can see, I'm gonna have to work on it a little bit. <laughs> Because they're looking a little dry, looking a little damaged, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to embrace it and it'll be back popping before you know it. So, like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and get ready for my day. I think we're going to go get donuts today. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I'll see you back in a minute. I'm back. Well, I'm dressed. And I decided to just put on a cute little sweater situation. When you have a kid getting ready to go anywhere, it's like a full day job. Because now I have myself together. But I have to comb baby girl hair and get her dressed. And you can hear she's upset. Hey, hey, baby. Y'all see, she's upset. Putting the lips on. Oh, look complete. <clears throat> So girls, am I giving a look or am I giving a look? <laughs> Ooh, a look or a look, period. Just giving a little, a little something. A little something. Hey, sweet girl. <laughs> all right, we're all ready and it's time to load into the car and get to these donuts so hubby was getting baby girl situated in the back and then it's time to ride out i got my donuts let's get into it there it is so you guys can see them all this is the elf collection from Krispy Kreme and I'm so excited to try them. So this is completely different from um, the Christmas donuts that I've done a video on before and I can link that video down in the description box or add a little tag up here. I'll do something so that you guys can watch it if you're interested. My husband and I tried all of the Christmas donuts at Krispy Kreme before. Now this collection is a little bit different. It is inspired, I'm assuming by the movie Elf. So y'all gonna have to help me out with this one right here in particular because I have no idea what they were going for. I'm gonna start over this one because it's giving me like signature elf donut. This is the one, this is the chosen one. That is super cute. It's got this little elf, which I'm assuming is edible. Mm. And it is, it's like a little uh, white chocolate piece. And let's taste it. I have no idea what the flavor is supposed to be. So let's taste it. Mm. It just tastes super creamy and buttery. And the icing is really thick. It's not just a regular ice donut. Mm. I'm going to taste just a little bit of the part with the sprinkles. Mm. Mm -mm. Next, I'm going to go for this chocolate glaze. Chocolate glaze. And it's got another little Santa chip. I'm assuming that's white chocolate as well. And it's got these little colorful sprinkles all over it. I'm trying not to drop those everywhere. Let's taste. Mm. 
regular chocolate glazed donut and it doesn't taste as fresh. Next. Okay, so this one seems like another signature one and, and mine is actually done really poorly. So I'll either insert a picture or you guys can look at the picture. This one actually looked like spaghetti with M&Ms and then it had chocolate drizzle. So does that have something to do with the movie? This looks horrible. Like this looks nothing like what it's supposed to look like. Obviously the person who made it is not very artistically inclined. The donut feels a little dry, but let's taste it. I don't know what the flavor is of this. Mm. That's definitely not a glaze. It's more like frosting and it's real sweet, y'all. And it does have M&M's, which I think is a cute touch. Mm. And last but not least, and yes, I lick my fingers because I wash my hands and I brush my fingernails. So boom, quick lick. The Santa. This is a cute little Santa and Santa is stuffed. See a little hole. I do not know what Santa is stuffed with. So I'm a little skeptical. The belt looks like a little sugar. A little sugar piece it's not white chocolate this time i don't think mm -hmm. mm. straight sugar but it was really cute i hope this is not another one that was red velvet oh y'all the feeling can y'all see that the filling is white with black specks in it. I don't know what that is. This is the winner winner chicken dinner for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's write these down. This one is number one. The cream filled Santa donut is probably number two. Chocolate covered is number three. And then that one with the spaghetti and the M&Ms on top is number four for me. From one being best, four being worse. If you try them out, let me know down in the comments. Tell me if you make a video. I wanna know what y'all think of these. This is good. I'm going to finish enjoying my donut. All right, y'all. So this is my first time trying the wings from Popeye's. And they look so good on the way home, y'all. Am I late on this? Like, have y'all had these already? So I got the garlic parmesan. They don't look as good as when they first gave them to us because now the sauce has settled. I hope it's still crunchy. Feels like it's still crunchy. But look how saucy and how yummy and how fresh. I'm going to try one. Ooh. Mmm. Let's see the Popeye's. I don't even eat Popeyes. It's good. Yeah.
review of the Popeye's chicken let's really talk about it so first of all the wings were amazing maybe I'm late to the party the wings were really good so I tried the sweet and spicy I tried the it's called roasted garlic parmesan both of them were really really good I think I like the sweet and spicy more the sweet and spicy I would give like a it's given a nine Fresh, crispy, sauce the extra sauce, perfection. Not too spicy. So if you really like more spice than sweet, probably won't like it. But it's more sweet than spice. I loved it. It gave like Chinese sweet and sour sauce with hot sauce mixed in it. It was really, really good. Now the roasted garlic parmesan, it snuck up on me. It caught me by surprise because it was spicy. And at first I thought it was my imagination. So y'all saw where I was like, okay, it's a wrap for me. I had to stop eating them because they were spicy. Now my spice meter is like way down on zero. So um, you might not find them spicy, but they definitely had a kick and I definitely had to stop eating them. Now I noticed after I stopped eating them that I could see like um, pepper seeds and red pepper flakes. So I've never had a garlic parmesan before that was spicy, but obviously that was the goal to make it spicy if I had red pepper flakes in my box. So anyways, I give the garlic parmesan, I probably give them like an eight or a nine, a seven or an eight, 7.5. Um, they would have gotten a higher score if I could either tolerate more spice or if they were less spicy or not spicy at all like a garlic parmesan is not supposed to be spicy am i crazy y'all let me know so i don't like my garlic parmesan spicy but that sweet and spicy was so good and i love y'all i love me a breaded sauced wing mm -hmm. 